ladybug tools uh, and grasshopper on the Mac. So you need to go to ladybug tools or ladybug dot tools uh, and then under tools uh, there's a link to ladybug so you can click on there and it explains what ladybug is and if we scroll down there's a link to download for grasshopper. And that takes us to a website called Food for Rhino, where you need to register, uh, um, which I recommend doing. There's a lot of great resources on there for Grasshopper and Rhino. Uh, I've already registered, so let me just log in. Um, and we can uh, go down here. We want to make sure we download the latest version. So in this case, it's 1.8. You can see uh, um, it works on a number of versions, so we can download that. So just click download and that will start to download. There's also um, some more information to the website that we just came from. So if we go back to there, um, there's sort of a lot of uh, other things there as well. So by default it is what's called a zip file. So we can click on that and it will extract it. So here you can see uh, the file here. So if we click open, there's some installation uh, instructions. Um, so we can double click on that. So a list of them is available at this website. So we can copy that address um, where we can put that in here. So there's sort of Mac installa installation. Uh, so we can sort of this is really helpful so we can sort of go through there. So there's obviously download uh, there. You'll find uh, installer, grasshopper file, open in grasshopper, and you'll see two components. So we want to go through and do that um, and start with that. So um, there's a few sort of steps in this. Uh, um, you can see you may need to download Python onto your machine. Um, Python is a computer language program that uh, Ladybug Tools uses, but also um, a lot of other things, so it's, it's useful to have. Um, I'm pretty sure I have that installed, but you might want to just double check that you've got that happening. So um, you can see there. So we'll, we'll just double check that that all works. Um, Okay, so uh, what we want to do is um, go to the Ladybug Tools folder that we've just downloaded and unzipped. So by default, uh, you should be able to just double click on it and it will unzip uh, or decompress. Um, so now we've got that, we can double click on the installer file and that should open up. Okay, it's opened up. In Grasshopper. Um, so there's a few things that we need to do here. So what's quite good is it tells us so what to do. Um, make sure you are connected to the internet and uh, we need to then set this component to true. So if we um, double click over here um, on the false, uh, that will go into processing mode. So just make sure you don't click it too much. And that's now installing. And you can see in the instructions that's uh, oh, go the other way. Uh, so what have we got here? So let's start with this. So it's created a folder and uses a policy called Ladybug Tools. And then we need to go to unzip the Python installation at uh, and run the installer component below. So uh, let's just jump to that. So if we go to Finder uh, 
and then I'm just going to create a new window. Um, by default, I've got mine just here, a Pelosi, but if you don't have that, um, you want to go to, uh, I'm pretty sure it's home uh, here. Yes. Um, so that was go and then home if you don't have your little folder uh, in the side. And then we want to come down to Ladybug Tools, and then you can see the Python dots it. So we need to just double click on that. And that's now expanding that. So let's just go back and double check. What did it say? Run the installer? No. Unzip the Python installation at. So, uh, and then run the component below. We've got these optional installation steps included. So um, I will, I do recommend that we install those as well because you'll be using those in the future. So we have install OpenStudio and install Radiance. So those are two other bits of software that we need to double check on. Uh, and again, this. So uh, let's, before we do anything else, let's just um, go back to the internet. Let's see what it says here. Uh, ladybug tools. Um, we've done that, so we've uh, unopened that. So we can just double check that that's set up. Unzip into the same place. So I just double clicked on that zip file. At the end, you should have something that looks like this. So let's double check. Finder. So we can see Python. And then we have bin include lib and share. So that looks all good. So we come back here. Uh, go back to the installer. Uh, Grasshopper file. And double click true. So this component will take a few seconds to run as it downloads the ladybug tool. Tools, core libraries, and the installation. Um, and that sort of uh, tells you where it will be downloaded to. Then we will need to restart radio, uh, Ladybug Tools or Rhino. So optional steps. So we need to install these as well. Uh, so let's just... Um, uh, um, the two main ones that at this stage you need to install is Radiance and OpenStudio. So let's have a look. Um, what we're going to do is let's just jump back to Rhino and we can come back and do those other steps. So I'm going to come back into here. Now I've made sure I've got that Python file and folder in the right place. So I can double click on uh, that toggle and you can see it'll take a minute or two to um, get to, to, to process what's going on. You just need to be patient here. Uh, it'll take a wee bit to, to process. Um, and then it comes up and you can see installation was successful, Ladybug Tools 1.8 has been installed. Uh, now restart uh, Rhino, so we can go OK. And you can see all the, for those that want to, uh, you can see all of the bits that um, uh, have been installed and where they've been installed. So we can close that file. Uh, and then uh, let's close uh, Rhino, quit Rhino, uh, I don't need that so I'm just going to uh, delete it and we can close that. So while that's closed, let's go and have a look at Radiance and OpenStudio. So this allows to run daylight and solar simulations, which we'll be doing uh, next trimester. 
uh, and then also OpenStudio allows you to run energy simulations. So those are both important. So uh, we, let's just click on this compatibility matrix. Uh, and then um, we can see, so I guess this hasn't been updated, but we're in the 1.8 world, I guess. So we need at least 3.7 and 1.74 for uh, OpenStudio of those. Basically, we want the latest versions. Okay, so I've figured out the best way of finding that latest ver version of Radiance that we want. So if we come down oh, back over to the compatibility matrix, uh, and then we can actually just click uh, on that 5.4. Uh, and then we should be able to right down the bottom it's got assets and then we want uh, let's just do the OSX package so we can click on that and that's now downloaded uh, we can install that uh, so radiance package cannot be identified uh, because it's uh, an unidentified developer um, so it's this is safe to download so we need to go um, okay then we need to go to system settings um, and if they're not in the dock at the bottom you can go down here and go to system settings as well uh, then we need to go to Got to find it. Uh, privacy and security, and then it's down here. Uh, so you should see privacy and security, and you scroll down, and it should have that Radiance file that we just tried to install. So we go open anyway, uh, and then you put in your password or approve there, and then click open, and then you can go through this process. So continue install uh, we need to put in our password for the computer so then we can install with the software so then we can close that we can add that to the bin so now radiance has been installed so if we come back to our um, Matrix, so we want to look at the matrix as well to, to install Open Studio. So let's uh, check the, mat the matrix. So click on that. Um, so Open Studio, uh, double check which one we need to do. Okay, so we want the Open Studio app, so we need to click on the 1.7 and then uh, give us an overview of what that does. So if we scroll down, we can see the assets. So we want uh, to make sure we get the right one. So for most of you, it'll be the um, um, Mac OS 10.0. Uh, 15 the DMG file so we can download that uh, and wait for that to download okay so that's now downloaded so I can open that file and that's an installer file so I think let's just see what happens if we double click on that Um, and again, this is some similar. It says it's not identified, used. It's an unidentified developer, so we can go OK, go back to uh, system settings, uh, and then you can see under that privacy and security, there's Open Studio. So we can just click Open anyway, and that will open that installer file, uh, and then it says Open.
And then we can go through the prompts here, continue. I would just place it into that location as fine. Uh, I would just select all of those. That's good. Um, let's go back. Just be aware, it's only 180 megabytes, so it's not a large chunk of space, so you should be fine. Um, and then install. And then you'll need to put in your password uh, for the computer. And that should then go through and begin installing. It shouldn't take too long to do all those bits. Um, and once that's done, we should be able to uh, have everything done here. Click done to exit. So done. So now let's open Rhino again. So Rhino 8. Need to move anymore. Um, we'll just do a new model. Now if we open Grasshopper, it should go through and open all the components now. Which it's doing. And we just want to double check that we've got all of the bits up the top. So we've got Ladybug tools, Honeybee and some other things. This stage predominantly will be using Ladybug, um, but there is some other things that you'll be using later on. So um, that's how to go about installing Ladybug tools in Grasshopper. Um, I'll do some more tutorials shortly on how to uh, set up the Winrose and Sunpath.